raise taxes. Okay, Reagan actually um, had a amnesty program for illegal immigrants. Neither of those things would allow Reagan to be nominated today. So, to what level can you truly emulate Ronald Reagan? Isn't that from a period of time when he was willing to work with Tip O'Neill across the aisle to get stuff done? Isn't that what people want more than anything else? He's not just principles, but action. Well, I'll tell you, number one, as I travel the country, I, I haven't seen anyone saying the thing we want of Republicans is to give in more to Barack Obama in the direction we're going. I don't hear that across the country. But are, there, are those aspects of Reagan something you could agree with? Raising Ronald, taxes and amnesty for uh, illegal immigrants. Could you Ronald agree Reagan, with Reagan? Could you agree with Reagan on those two things? Uh, no, of course not. All right. But Ronald Reagan also signed the largest tax cut in history. Mm -hmm. He reduced government regulations from Washington. Mm -hmm. He did. And economic growth exploded. You know, when Reagan came in from 1978 to 1982, mm -hmm. economic growth averaged less than 1% a year. There's only one other four-year period where that's true. That's true from 2008 to 2012. And what Reagan did, he cut taxes, he cut regulations, he unchanged small businesses, and economic growth boomed. Mm -hmm. Millions of people were lifted out of poverty but into prosperity in the middle class. But when conditions changed in the country, he reversed his world's largest tax cut and raised taxes when revenues did not match the expectations. So it, it's a matter of compromising. Will you be willing? Will you be willing to compromise with the other side? Because I would say that it is possible, it's entirely possible that your plan might be the right one. If it turns out not to be the right one, would you be willing to compromise with the other side, change your mind, and, and do yeah. something that the other side wants and not feel like you capitulated with the devil? So, my attitude... <laughs> is it possible? Because you're a religious man, right? You're a religious man. And I... dabble. <laughs> But would you believe that it's important not to call the other side the devil? Um, absolutely. There's nothing diabolical about you. What about your opponents politically? Are they diabolical? Uh, of course not. And, and in fact, my response in politics is when others throw rocks at insult, I don't respond in kind. And, and in fact... That's true. You haven't. I, I, and that's true of both Republicans or Democrats. When, when others attack me, I make a point of keeping the focus on substance keeping the focus on how do we turn this country around. Mm -hmm. People are fed up. What, what they want is jobs and economic growth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you mentioned before, you know, you said, Cruz, you're a very conservative guy. Listen, what I'm fighting for are simple principles. Live within our means. Mm -hmm. Stop bankrupting our kids and grandkids. Follow the Constitution. And no gay marriage. And no gay marriage. Well, no, actually, let's be precise. You, Under the Constitution, yes. marriage is a question for the states. If you want to change doesn't the marriage mention, laws, doesn't mention marriage in the Constitution. Uh, we have had a country for over 200 years. Yeah. So you may be right, you may be right, but it doesn't mention marriage in the Constitution. You believe and, and that that's marriage... that's exactly why it's a question for the states, because the mm -hmm. Tenth Amendment says if it doesn't mention it, mm -hmm. it's a question for the states. That's in the Bill of Rights. Everything that is not mentioned 